woman fights back by biting off her alleged attacker's tongue to get away. And tonight we learn the 16-year-old suspect will be charged as an adult. I am a, a teacher. I um, just purchased my first house. Yeah, I'm a bit quirky. These are the things Paige Duval wants to be known for, but last week, this high school art teacher's life changed inside her new home. Yeah, it's hard that I, I can't believe it. A black eye and bruised arms are just some of the marks from the attack. Um, words cannot express. Duval still in disbelief. No, it can happen to anybody. Like, I was just getting ready for work. She says today she looked at the headlines okay. that have filled media outlets worldwide, and she knew her story must be told. What would you think objectively, looking at your story? And uh, like, what would you think about that person? And I, for the very first time, I felt empowered. And I thought to myself, I would, be, I would put that in my Rolodex of like, if that happens to me, that's what I'm gonna do. She gives herself little credit for fighting back, but friends and family tell a different story. Very small you percentage would. of people actually are as strong as you are. Duval has been staying at her mom's house and hasn't been back to her home yet. I'm gonna go back, definitely. Um, I don't know when, but I will be. She says she's simply putting one foot in front of the other, thanks to the love and support from her friends and her family. We're all gonna get through this together. And I didn't, I didn't know that uh, originally. Now, surrounded by that support, she knows she's going to be okay. Her students, who don't know why their teacher hasn't been at school, sent cards to show their love. A lot of them think I'm pregnant. <laughs> I love dogs, so, you know, sorry to hear you're feeling rough. And with that laughter and spirit, Duval says she won't stop smiling. Maybe you'll get well soon. Maybe you won't. <laughs> <laughs>what might you do? Begin with a chilling 911 call. What do you want? Hello? What do you want? Hello? You're listening to the frantic pleas for help as two sisters desperately try to fight off a home intruder. I knew from her screams, it was only like a couple screams that I heard, but from the tone of them, I knew it was something terrible. These just released 911 calls depict the horror of that late night last month when two young women, Bree and Kaylee Lastly, tried to fight off a knife wielding intruder inside their Brent Salt Lake City home. The sisters had just said goodnight to each other around midnight when 27 year old Bree says she heard a strange sound in her dark bedroom. I thought I heard something outside of my window, but I wasn't really sure. And just a few minutes later, I heard someone say, hey girl, I'm coming in. And it was then my window opened all the way and a man came in my window. The intruder, 48-year-old Robert Berger, was released from prison just one week before the attack. Berger had even tried to break into a different home a few doors down on the very same block. Yeah, I just had someone break into my house. They're coming yeah, back. He just broke through my kitchen window. When did this happen? How many minutes ago? Uh, two minutes ago. Like, I just grabbed my phone and my husband was fighting him out the window. Later, Berger entered Bree's window using this chair and broom. Bree immediately began trying to fend him off. He said, cooperate with me. And I said, I'm not cooperating with you. You're not going to get what you want out of the situation. And he put his hand over my mouth shoved me up against my door and started punching me. Terrified, little sister Kaylee runs upstairs to help. 
I think I just kind of ran into the fight. I didn't see them. I could just kind of hear, and all of a sudden, I was kind of in the middle of the fight. The sisters say they barely had time to be afraid. All they could focus on was fighting off their attacker. I remember squatting down and holding on to his shorts with my left hand and just punching him as hard as I could with my right hand. And Kaylee was behind me just beating him from over the top of me. I think he must have kicked me down the stairs. I don't think there was any way it was a push because it was so much pressure on my chest that I flew backwards down the stairs. He's saying to us, just give me your car keys, give me your car keys. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to rape you. Just give me your car keys so I can get out of here. What do you want? And we said, you can have our car keys. You can have both of our car keys. You can have whatever you want. What do you want? And then he just continued to beat us. And so that's when we both had our phones. And I said, Kaylee, we need to call 911. The lastly say they and the suspect fought savagely, kicking and punching, until Berger pulled out a knife. And I heard Brian say, Kaylee, he has a knife, he has a knife. And I just remembered this can't, this can't happen, like this needs to stop. Um, but then I knew that we needed help and that it was going to end and it was going to end quickly and badly if Kaylee didn't leave and get help because unfortunately I couldn't be the one to leave. And so I yelled at Kaylee to go and get help. She started screaming, Kaylee, he's stabbing me, he's stabbing me. We were both thinking that same thing. Well, that's the last time I'm going to see my sister. Yeah. Kaylee makes a heart-wrenching decision to leave the house and ask for help. Her terrifying screams awakening the neighbors. There is someone outside of my apartment screaming, like bloody murder. She's screaming for help hey, let me see as loud as she can. Did you hear anything that was said or just a woman screaming? She was screaming and she was screaming, help me. She's still screaming. Okay. I can hear it, but she's still screaming. And then I saw a few people come out of their houses into the streets, and that's when I started saying, he's stabbing my sister, he's stabbing my sister, he's going to kill her. Salt Lake City police officer Ben Hone had been on the streets responding to another report of a burglary. He rushed into the Lastly's home after hearing Kaylee's cries for help. And I just remember looking at the officer's eyes and saying, officer, he's going to kill me. He should have shined a light on the, the suspect and said, Salt Lake City Police Department, drop the knife, drop the knife. And right when he flexed, the officer took his life and saved mine. Officer Hone fatally shot Berger in the head. One female stabbed in the stomach, one male, not conscious, not breathing. Bree was stabbed three times in the thigh, the stomach, and sternum. I think if the officer took, he could have taken five seconds longer, and I think she would have been killed. The girls say Officer Hone is their hero. It's like, we don't really have words for how much we love him. <laughs> and his family, he really just saved our lives, both of our lives, right there in that moment. Bree and Kaylee's terrifying ordeal is just one of the latest in a series of recent home invasions, violent attacks, intruders crossing the threshold into the place where we're supposed to feel safe. Bree and Kaylee are recovering. Both say they're lucky to be alive. I remember in the, in the emergency room, they kept saying there's no way that that didn't hit her aorta. There's no way, there's no heart damage. They've since moved out of that house. We're blessed. <laughs> yeah. To say the least. Yeah, to say the, the very least, that's right. Thank you.